So this is all about atherosclerosis and atheromas. I'm, I'm going to take a slightly different approach from uh, the books. I don't think it's fantastically clear. It's all right, but um, I think it leaves a few questions open. Um, now, don't confuse this, he says, immediately writing it out, um, with arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis is a gradual hardening of the arteries. For example, as you get older, uh, your arteries lose a bit of that elasticity that allows them to stretch as the blood goes through. So they're not as stretch anymore, it tends to increase the blood pressure. Um, that's not the same thing. Atherosclerosis is the formation of a plaque. Not very clear, is it? Plaque um, in the wall of the artery. And it is actually inside the wall. Again, people sometimes think that you know, here's our artery. Um, it somehow appears inside the artery, blocking things off. Um, and I'm not even going to draw it because that's not what happens. An atheroma begins inside the wall of the artery. Um, now, a useful word. I always like this one. Lumen, the space in the middle of a tube. Um, so the atheroma forms in the wall rather than the lumen. Um, now, atheroma is actually form quite commonly from childhood um, they're not usually a big problem it's only really noticeable if it's um, in the coronary arteries or of course if it's in one of the arteries of the brain which is, is called a stroke if, if that becomes um, a problem by blocking off the blood vessels now what happens is um, our old enemies low density lipoproteins and they basically get um, into the wall of the artery and once they're in there, they, they cause irritation. They, they cause irritation to the, the cells in here. Now, when cells become irritated, um, they release a warning signal. As far as the cells are concerned, they, they could be under the attack, uh, attack from the pathogen. And they release chemicals called cytokines, which if, you've, um, if you remember from the immune system, um, are, are simply chemicals that are used to communicate between cells. When those cytokines are released, it attracts... Um, technically it tracks something called a monocyte which is um, a white blood cell which will become a macrophage so if you refer to that as a macrophage it's fine it's just that you might see it called a monocyte as well so these macrophages um, turn up and they, they destroy the, these low density lipoproteins the lipoproteins basically become oxidized um, so the LDLs become oxidized and it's that that's that's causing the, the irritation, if you like. And these macrophages turn up and they basically start swallowing all these LDLs so that they become full of um, cholesterol. They become full of all these lipids and cholesterol. They actually form something called a foam cell, which is a big cell full of all these lipids and things. And eventually they more or less will burst, you know, and all this new cholesterol goes out, which of course um, causes more irritation so more cytokines released more macrophages come so it's kind of a, a positive um, build-up um, positive feedback if you like the more uh, it becomes irritated you bring macrophages which make the problem worse which brings more macrophages and so on and so on and the atheroma which is a, a build-up of plaque and cholesterol and bits of dead cells it causes the inside of the artery wall to swell um, let's use a brown, horrible brown colour. Um, so this would be our atheroma in here. Now, if this keeps building, this can get thinner and thinner. You see the 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 layer between the atheroma and the outside, and eventually it basically bursts out. Okay. And what you've got, rather than the nice smooth endothelium, the nice smooth lining to your um, blood vessel, you've got this sticky kind of rough layer with bits of fibres and dead bits of cells in it. Um, now this can potentially, as, as it bursts out, block off the, the entire, you know, a huge bit can, can come out. So if you've got a huge lump here that bursts out into the artery and it goes uh, further away into a much thinner artery, you could block the entire thing off. Okay, so that could be a problem. But even if it just sticks there, uh, it's still a problem because something called a thrombus which is a blood clot, and again, they can happen anywhere in your body. It can just be a big clot of blood, a bit like a scab, if you like, on the inside. Um, and they occur all the time. Um, they're, they're usually broken down. They're usually pretty small, so it's not a problem. Uh, but if you happen to have one, um, and you get a big thrombus, let's make it a bit bigger, it might lodge 
in this uh, space and you've got sudden blockage which would basically be what we'd, we call a heart attack okay so the thrombus is, is the blood clot itself and it might lodge in there because the artery uh, lumen has been reduced by this atheroma um, if you don't have the thrombus and this is just a gradual build-up you get a much slower development of heart disease uh, a gradual decline rather than the sort of one-off um, myocardial infarction to use the proper term or a heart attack as we could call it why would we get a thrombus why would we get blood clotting come together uh, well one of the main causes is nicotine which um, the, the chemicals the chemical nicotine makes your platelets more sticky uh, platelets these little cell fragments actually you know we might think they're just little tiny bits of cells they do actually release other chemicals platelets are important in blood clotting they release chemicals that initiate that blood clot uh, but nicotine makes them more sticky and more likely to to be clumped together so that's why smoking is linked with um, heart disease so much because that would cause a thrombus but the initial problem is this atheroma this sticky layer that forms inside of the artery wall why does it form because low density lipoproteins um, release their cholesterol into there and they become oxidized that irritation causes release of cytokines which brings the macrophages down